What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rello the Goat, and I'm back with another Man of Maiden video. This is part two, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, after the dive and shit, this is where we left off. Let's go crazy. Whoa, you good? More or less. She been flissing so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you. Fucker, fucker. I appreciate those, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck. I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Who the fuck is these niggas? Man, hold on. Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Yeah, yes, nigga, I don't know, my nigga. Off. Some ain't right. Some ain't right. Say anything stupid, okay? Hey, I don't know what the fuck these niggas on. Y'all better get. Y'all better get. All right, now let's see what they on. All right, damn. Nigga, I'm pissed, nigga. Get the, get out of here. the fuck out of here, nigga. What the fuck wrong with y'all, man? Fuck out of here, lame ass nigga. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Dude, that's tripping. He disrespectful. Right, drive a hard 
again, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Bro, what is he doing? This nigga too disrespectful. You gonna get your ass beat. That nigga gonna fuck around and get killed, boy. Fuck around with you. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. They tried to get me, uh huh. Ten toes. They tried to get me, nigga. No. Uh, they tried to get me. They tried to get me. I ain't going, bitch ass nigga. All right, let's see what's going on. Yeah, just take a second. Time for not exploring. Go, go, go. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Here. Little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. That just scared the fuck out of me, dog. Bro. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would have got us killed. It would have been a goddamn problem. If she would have got us killed, it would have been a goddamn problem. We gotta get out of here now. Oh shit, not the goddamn shark. It's a gray reef shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Yeah, it's about that time to dip, fuck that uh, shit. Uh, okay. Didn't know if it was the this right nigga time. finna pop the question, what? No time. I'm on this, right time. what? I, I don't, I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell, cause we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. 
Will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come out, guys! The gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. All right, my Fliss boy getting mad. Okay, big deal for my boy. I see him. You know what I'm saying? No wrong with it. Oh, shit. I hope they're all right, because they just riding away like ain't shit. They're riding away like, huh? We got a decompressor. Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah. Look, we gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! That's an air reveal. Why she do all that? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. <laughs> that was a good job, Julia. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> 
sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. They freaky ass. I'm on that shit. I knew they were finna go crazy. I kind of set that up. I ain't gonna cap. I'm trying to pick as wise as I can. I'm not trying to kill nobody, but shit, you never know with these games. All right. Some shit ready to have to watch. Here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. That's what the fuck he say? Then that's what the fuck she say? Nigga, they on some Spider-Man shit, nigga, I want. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This. All right, y'all. This is gonna be the end of part two of Man of Maiden. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hey, keep supporting the channel. Like, share, subscribe. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. And I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Peace.